back lattes. Today I'm taking Jess to my chiropractor. I'm so excited. She talks all the Dr. time about J. Dr. J. I'm so excited to I meet him. I always talk about Dr. You could probably find his name hidden in one of our videos somewhere. Oh yeah. So we're gonna do some pregnancy chiropractic on me and then Jess's first visit with Dr. J. With Dr. J. I've only been to a chiropractor like one other time during my life. It was when I was pregnant with Micah. That was my first time and my last time. So, Your last time? Yeah, I haven't been since. Oh I'm excited for you to mm. experience this, and I'm excited to get adjusted get nine months pregnant. So pops and cracks and loosened up and, yep. and straightened out and all the things. Yep. So you ready? I'm ready. Let's I'm do so it. ready. I'm very ready. Let's go. We're here. <laughs> I'm excited to meet Dr. J. You ready to get cracked? Cracky, cracky. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> it's starting to get awkward. Waddle going on. Her head's like. Real low. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my lord, Holly. <laughs> and I forget to pick, pick up my feet sometimes too, so there's that. Hello, Dr. J. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good to see you again, Holly. Hi, how are you? Good. This is my friend Jess. Hi, Hi Jess. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. My neck is like, you know, the usual. My back feels very tight in my upper back got so much weight in the front, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I have had a little bit of sciatic stuff going on, but... Right side? Yeah, mostly how, right side. How far down? Um, it goes to my knee sometimes. So if you go upside down, do you have like an inversion thing that you're using? Or you yeah, just it's called an pole? aerial hammock. <laughs> <laughs> That's my inversion table. Okay, mm. well that works. Ugh, you know, just the usual pregnant body problems. This too shall pass. <laughs> You're doing really well. These bridges go up, don't they? They do. They're maternity pants. <laughs> if I didn't know better, these I'd say these are the pants that pregnant ladies wear. <laughs> okay, let's have you go forward the best you can. I know you're limited. Go forward? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I could do it with my yeah, legs that's wide. Good. That's good. You did good. Can I do What's it? What's it like right there? I mean, it feels like a bone. <laughs> Is that tender Stiff? for you? No. Not really. How's it been in between these? Tight. Classic spine. That will probably pop a lot. A little tender right there. Mm-hmm. And there. Mm-hmm. And there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> his face, his eyebrows went up a little bit on that one. Let me see, uh, how far can we turn our head to the right? Oh, that feels... Good. Tighter than normal. Usually I can turn around like an owl. Yep. <laughs> you got pretty good rotation. Yeah. Let's have you lay face up right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing! <laughs> oh! Stink! Let's uh, move you to this side for Okay. Me. Ooh! Okay. Well, you got two little crunches right before. Yeah, let me reevaluate those hips real quick and see. Okay. Okay, forward. <coughs> oh, it's moving better. Right there. Come on up. Okay. It's more gooder. <laughs> Definitely more gooder. Big breath. Higher in my I know. I know it's hard for you to lay on your back for very long. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Closing off all those vessels. So well. Do you know though? Do you know really? <laughs> which way you twist in first? You try not to twist. Oh, I mean, which way <laughs> will her head end up? I mean, like to use the word adjust. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm just still kind of working out a couple of these little trigger points in her neck. Gotcha. I don't like to just go in and adjust right off the bat. A lot of chiropractors do, but I like to loosen the person up a little bit first, make them feel more comfortable, get some of these trigger points loosened up before I go in and adjust the spine. We could probably try the whoop de doo today. <laughs> what? The whoop de doo Yeah, you know, the whoop de doo <laughs> The little traction device? Yeah, that one. We call it the whoop de doo That's a very smart <laughs> medical term. Yeah, because after you're like, whoop de doo <laughs> It'll ring your bell, that's for sure. 
Jess, have you ever had your bell rung? <laughs> I mean, that like, depends on really what you mean. <laughs> I got my hair done yesterday, Dr. J. It looks great. I don't have any gray hairs anymore. <laughs> nice. Mm. Mm. Oof. Oof. Okay. Did you hear that? I have not adjusted very well as a pregnant lady. Huh, Dr. J? Yeah, most women move a lot when they're pregnant because they've got relaxin flowing through their system, which causes all their joints to become loose. And I'm the opposite. Which is important when you're getting ready to deliver. But uh, Holly is uh, a little bit of a conundrum. <laughs> Nope. No, nothing. Nothing, honey? No whoop de doos No whoop de doos today. Well, you adjusted pretty good already. So yeah, my neck, that was good crack. I don't think that it's really... Hmm. How you feeling? I feel great, but I think my upper back needs to pop more. Or my hips or something. Take a big breath. Nope. I guess we got it all. I didn't think it would move any more than it already had. Okay. It moved pretty well. So. Yeah, it did. I'm just greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Head mm -hmm. to the right. <gasps> Look at that. Whoa. To the left. Now you're going about 100 degrees, so that's really good. About 100 degrees. You're basically better. an owl. <laughs> wow. You gotta say it, Dr. J. <laughs> it's more gooder. <laughs> it's more gooder. That definitely feels better. It's not tender anymore. Good. A little. Oh yeah, the gun. You feeling good? I'm feeling good. Your neck turned a whole bunch more. I know. That's the I magic was of Dr. J. Being pregnant, I used to adjust so much better before I was pregnant, but I think because I'm flexible, not pregnant, the relaxin has made my body like seize up in weird ways. Weird. Yeah, like I've been tighter since I've been pregnant, That's which is so the opposite bizarre. of what everybody says. You ready? Yeah, I'm excited to see what he says about my broken body. Oh, I bet you're gonna crack real good. Yeah, uh, I'm a little scared. <laughs> and you mentioned that your lower back gives you some discomfort. Yeah. In your neck. Yeah, my lower back, sometimes I can, I mean, I've been working on my hips a lot lately. I've been seeing a physical therapist for my pelvic floor and hips and stuff. Um, what else have you done? Anything? I work out. I lift weights. Okay, good. I think the squat bar on my shoulder sometimes doesn't help, <laughs> but I yeah. don't know. There's other ways of working muscles without having to compress your spine. I'm not a big fan of that. Are you taking any medications? No. I take... I'm really bad at taking my multivitamins. It's not an interrogation, Jess. <laughs> Tell me about history of accidents. What comes to mind? Like car accidents? Car accidents, I was in falls a... on the ice, ski accidents, sports oh, injuries. I got a concussion snowboarding maybe five years ago. Oh. I, I, I did some tumbles, like some cartwheels with my head. I also rolled off a cliff snowboarding. <laughs> but that was a really good landing. That was really smooth. I was in a car accident when I was probably like, it was middle school. Were you injured to your knowledge? Uh, a little bit of whiplash. Oh, interesting. Mm. Everything is so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so these old traumas can come back and haunt us later. Oh no. The body will heal in whatever position you knock yeah, it in. Okay. And so unless you do something right away to make corrections, and that can speed up the whole degeneration process. Well, I had a concussion, I fell off a cliff snowboarding, I've had a whiplash. Uh -huh. I also I, hurt my, I don't know what exactly it was, I was doing a forward bend in yoga and <coughs> something in my hips, maybe mm. like hamstring connect, like something back here popped. Like just on the left side? It was this side first, and then I think mm. later in time it happened this, but not as extreme. And this hip is definitely tighter than the other one. Oh my gosh, he's looking at me like I'm a, a train wreck. <laughs> so it's, it's really important that you do maintenance, you know, just like your car. You know, you take your car in every 3,000 miles, change the oil. Why do you do that? To keep it running well. Right, it's not because the engine's ready to blow up. Mm -hmm. We want to fix it before the engine blows up, right? Mm -hmm. But most people, what do they do? They wait till they're ready to blow up, and then they go, oh, I better go see a doctor. Uh -huh. When 
if they had just done some regular chiropractic maintenance mm -hmm. throughout their life, mm -hmm. they could have avoided a lot, a lot of those problems down the road. <laughs> All right, let's have you stand up for me. How close can we come to touching our toes? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. I can do that. <laughs> Any pain going down or coming up? Uh, no pain, just some, I mean, tightness. Hands on the hips and extending backwards. I'm gonna crack something. Any <laughs> discomfort doing that? No, just, I mean, tightness in my back, but I wouldn't call it painful in any way. Okay. Hands at your side. Can you bend sideways and touch your knee? My knee? <sighs> Good. Does that give you any discomfort? Just tightness. How about pain. the other way? No. Oh, what was that? That was my back. <laughs> I heard that. How's that feel? Good. No pain. Just... How about rotation? as far as you can go? Yep. It is? Yes. <laughs> that is hard. I mean, that is. If I, if I put my like legs into it, maybe a little more. Okay, that's better. How about this okay. one? Okay, good. Oh, phew. How'd that feel? <laughs> I'm cramping in my side. <laughs> any, pull, any pulling or pain doing that? No. You look it very feel. uncomfortable when you do that. I feel good. How about looking straight back as far as you can go? Like, just with my neck? Just with your neck. Good. How's that feel? A little tightness back here. How about putting your ear to your shoulder? Ugh. I definitely <laughs> can't touch it. And how about your ear to your other shoulder? Oh. Oh no! <laughs> I we... mean, I'm not the doctor, but oh. <laughs> Can you put your right ear on your left shoulder? Is that a That's a joke, right? <laughs> Jess, you can't do that. <laughs> How about turning your head to the right? Nice. To the left. You got about 85, so that's within the... Uh, I gotta hit that 100 like Holly. <laughs> You're within the normal range, but you're not as good as Holly, but... You know, it's not a competition. <laughs> not as good as Holly. Okay, he'll crack your neck and then you'll be... <laughs> Check out these sweet pictures Dr. J took. Dr. J is releasing a whole book. book. 191 pages yeah. coming September. Link down below. Oh, those hips are doing. Can you touch your toes for me? Oh, interesting. Come take a look at this, Holly. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, this is higher. Exactly. Now look what happens to my thumb. Now my thumbs are just resting on our two hip bones. These uh -huh. are called posterior superior iliac spines. It's these little bumps right here. Okay. Now when she sits straight up, watch what happens to my thumbs. They went flat. They went level with each other. Yeah. Do it and again. And then when she goes forward, ooh, Ooh. That right hip comes up. Neat. So we know this hip is not moving like it should. Oh. So we're going to get in here and introduce some motion to that hip and free that baby you up. You look crooked just sitting there. <laughs> My body is so crooked. Person. You're still a wonderful person. Yeah, I'm okay. good. In your lower back, you have these four major core muscles mm -hmm. that help stabilize your pelvis. Mm. You have the quadratus lumborum, the multifidus, the iliocostalis lumborum, the longissimus, and all these fun names that I keep making up. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't really. The first one is called the quadratus lumborum. But the test is I'm going to try and slide your legs to a neutral position like this okay. while you resist and try not to let me do it. Okay, I'll do my best. Okay, ready? Yeah. And resist. <laughs> Knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh. I couldn't do a thing. So that wasn't so strong, was it? No, not at all. Okay, this next test, we're testing the multifidus. This is the deepest muscle in your back. It hooks all five of your lumbars together. So the test is the same, but the foot is pointing out to the side like so. Once again, resist. Give me all you got. Oh. And she's got nothing. <laughs> This next My body one needs help. It's called the iliocostalis lumborum. Cross this is the, the big pelvis. muscle that comes off the pelvis and shoots up into your rib cage. Once again, the test is the same. And she's really trying, but she's <laughs> failing. Now this last one's a longissimus. This one comes off the sacrum and goes up to your spine. What you want to do is take your toes and push them towards you. And once again, resist. Uh -huh. Man! I'm um, weak. You'll be excited in so like five So with the laser, seconds. we can do up to two muscles at a time. So okay. we're going to do the first two core muscles right now. We will 
Stimulate the right areas on your body, acupuncture points, neurovascular points, neurolymphatic points, and organ points. And then we'll retest you and you'll be strong before you leave the office. <laughs> There's your two hips. Mm -hmm. There's your spine. This is the muscle, the quadratus lumborum, which we're going to be working on. Cool. And then we're going to do the multifidus. This is the deepest muscle in your back. It hooks to your sacrum and then L5, L4, L3, L2, L1. Nice. Okay? Does that make sense? Yep. Multifidus. That's a fun word. Multifidus. He's going to fix me. There's four lasers coming out of here. Do I need to not be oh. close to the laser? No, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> And so even though we're working on muscles here in your back, there's other acupuncture points and neurovascular points and organ points. Maybe some are on your legs, some are going to be on your head, so I'll be bouncing all over. Okay. So just realize I haven't lost my mind. You're not going to feel anything in your brain. Aliens in your brain. Hey, look why that light comes out of your ear when we do it. <laughs> Okay, you ready for the test? I'm ready. Am I gonna be stronger? You feeling like Xena the Warrior Princess? <laughs> as much as I ever have. <laughs> be ready to be impressed. Okay, here we go. Okay. Quadratus lumborum, take two. Ready? Uh -huh. Resist. No way. I mean, I am pulling hard. <laughs> Shut up. Are you pranking me? <laughs> I am not cranking you. Are what? you pranking me? No. Okay, here's the next one, multifidus. Shut up! Just feel the pressure of my hand point on your leg if you want to ask if I'm pulling hard. Ready? Go. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm literally giving it what I got. All you got! I'm so strong now! You're so strong! <laughs> what? Isn't that crazy? So next time we get together, we'll knock out those other two. Wow! Oh, by the way, some people find this really ticklish. Okay. How's that feeling? Good. All right, that was fun, wasn't it? That was nice. Okay, so <laughs> these right, remember we said the right hip was not moving like it should, so we're gonna bring you over here. We're the production team and we're the talent. <laughs> <laughs> AKA no budget. <laughs> AKA we poor. <laughs> Just kidding. Interesting. Come on up. It's all just so interesting. What's wrong with us? I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> Let that shoulder relax. Did you get that? Got it. I felt that one. Okay, flat on your back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a whole lot of discomfort in that upper back, do you? It feels like there's something. And lock your fingers behind your neck. Like this? Yep. You gotta give me some room to squeeze my little wings through here. This is kind of like a reverse dance. Now you're just gonna try to relax the best you can. Huh? There you go. <laughs> I got it! Wow, that was great! I feel taller. Let's retest. Wow, that was <clears throat> nice. Now remember, a minute ago, this right hip was coming way up. Mm -hmm. No longer, it's sitting nice and level. Yay. Come on up. So even though you don't always hear a big pop, you can still make correction. Man, my back feels real good. Alive. I'm just gonna put a little coconut oil on your neck for a minute. Okay, feel yep. that big trigger point right I'm there? I definitely feel that. Take a big breath and hold it for as long as you can comfortably. See if we can't get this to melt away for a minute before I adjust you. Hmm. Excuse me. Was that your? <laughs> your <laughs> you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What that was. <laughs> That's never happened before. It was like deep inside somewhere. See how much better that left side feels? Yeah, totally. Just a minute ago, there was just a big a lump right there. Uh -huh. And now it just smooth. Okay, so we're gonna work out this right one and then we're gonna get your neck adjusted and all your dreams okay. are gonna come true. <laughs> nice. Wow. Big breath. Just let it out.
feel like a new person. Yeah? Feeling good? I'm feeling great. Loose and like taller and oh, just you gotta really check, good. You gotta check your owl rotation. Oh. So you were at a little, little over 80 degrees when we mm -hmm. started today. And head to the right. Wow, past 90. Oh, almost 100 to the left. <gasps> Yay! Up. My neck is better. It's more gooder. How's it feel to be an overachiever? Awesome. Done it all my life. <laughs> so it's nothing new? You're used I to mean, it? The pressure that goes along with it is not fun. Yeah, I'm feeling way good. Sweet. That was awesome. Thanks, Dr. J. You're welcome. That was, that was awesome. So what do you think about our old lady bodies? <laughs> I'm feeling well, young and spry now. <laughs> I'm 28 again. So you've got two weeks and then you deliver. Mm -hmm. We're definitely going to want to get you in after you deliver and, you know, fix things up because give yourself be some time to, to uh, recover from the delivery. But then, and fix my baby. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to check the baby as well. You can do baby mm -hmm. adjustment. Yeah, that's the thing. And then I want to get you back in, Jessica, and laser on a few more muscles. Yeah. And get you adjusted again, then we can reevaluate and see how you're doing. Cool. Sweet. Wow. Well, thanks for working on us. My pleasure. I've, we don't shake hands around <laughs> these parts. We give hugs. <laughs> thanks, Dr. J. I guess I'll give you a hug too. <laughs> okay. Or you can shake his hand. You know that like overall calmness that you feel like after a massage or something? Oh, like yeah. that's how I'm feeling right now. Full body. My body yeah. just feels good. It just feels like you're aligned. Like I'm just sitting better. Yes, aligned. You can tell. I feel like I'm aligned. Your body's like in the just right. Straight. Who places. knew that my hips were so crooked? Yeah, and that was cool to see. That laser thing? I know. You guys, my Ma husband, magic. my husband was asking me after. He was like, "Was that really like you weren't just playing it up?" For yeah. Karen? I'm like, "No, absolutely not." No, it really That works. was absolutely it's not incredible. a placebo effect like it actually i could not believe works. that and thanks for joining us on this wild adventure y'all mm -hmm. two more weeks of Gosh. of this baby here i'll get you a good oh. bump shot right Let's now see it. and she's gonna come out at any time anytime she's now ready. i can't i can still see like your muscle definition that's bizarre holly you're so strong oh. <laughs> <laughs> it gets tiring after oh, a minute I know it does. <laughs> She'll be coming around the corner when she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, Latte. I'm afraid God has given the gift of birth to the tougher sex. <laughs> Can you imagine us men, how what a wimps we would be if you we know, were pregnant? Lots of men get offended when people say that. They really don't like when they say women are stronger. <laughs> oh, man. Mostly men, random That's just men on the internet.